hello students uh, today we are going to discuss about the planning of greenhouses facility and site selection and orientation the structural design and the covering material uh, so this is very important once you have to you have decided to erect a poly house it is very important that you should have a, a you know proper selection of the site on which you have to erect the poly house its orientation and then the design and all so from the site selection and in, in the orientation point of view the greenhouse should withstand local wind snow and crop loads for a specific cropping activity uh, that means that the, with the structure should be sturdy enough that it can withstand the wind velocities if there is snowfall in the winter areas if there is a snowfall on the poly house then it should bear that weight also and the crop load is uh, when you crop, tie the crop plants like uh, you know runners with the we, uh, with the structure and uh, then there is a fruiting on this so there is a simultaneously it says there is a 500 or uh, you know say 1000 plants are there and these plants uh, have a load on the structure so the structure should have the capacity to bear that kind of load uh, the building site should be as a level as possible and uh, so that there is no requirement for land leveling and grading uh, then it should have a good solar radiation that it should be sunny there shouldn't be any shades of buildings or trees and all so that your structure area should be open one uh, the provision of drainage should should be proper if there is, shouldn't be any water logging conditions and then the site should have uh, natural wind breaks if there is a uh, you know there is a tendency of winds coming there then in the reason if there is a snow then tree should be 30.5 or like away in order to keep drift back from the greenhouses now to prevent shadow on the crop trees located on the east south or west side should be at a distance of 2.5 times their height now uh, this is also important that tree there shouldn't be any trees in the nearby area uh, so far as your greenhouse is concerned <clears throat> the structural design should be like that the maximum intensity of uh, natural light inside structural parts that can cast shadow in the greenhouse should be minimized the greenhouse structure should be designed to resist uh, wind of say 130 kilometers per hour uh, that is a very high speed wind but uh, we, we design the structure in such a way and keep the structure in such a direction that uh, uh, it should be having an aerodynamic uh, and the winds which are coming may pass on and they may not you know uh, strike directly and may damage by the damage the poly house uh, secondly the greenhouse the winds you know uh, the lower portion the minimum resistance should be given so the length wise it should be in the l l, l or you know and the l form uh, the, the towards the wind so it is a uh, so like this then secondly the uh, telescopic foundations are also very beneficial in order to save uh, the the poly house from the heavy winds uh, the actual uh, load depends on wind angle greenhouse shape and size and presence and absence of opening and wind breaks so we should have the sturdy and a heavy structure uh, so that it can withstand uh, the extra loads uh, may come up with the snow load or crop load or maybe by if the people is working on the poly house for changing the sheet and all so all the weights it can be uh, so this is a type of different structure shapes uh, so uh, you know the different shapes in which uh, we can go for the structures the ultimate design of a greenhouse depends on the aspects uh, on the you know like uh, what are the requirements basically so the overall structure design properties of individual structural components the specific mechanical and physical properties which determine the structure behavior of the covering materials the specific sensitivity of the crop to light and temperature to be shown grown in the greenhouse so all uh, i mean these are the aspects on the basis of which we design the structure say if we need uh, like uh, temperature 
high temperature so we have to put certain equipments accordingly if we want cooling of poly house then we need to have the cooling arrangements on that and then the specifically for which crop we are planning the poly house that also depends on the the physiology of the crop and the agronomy of the crop on the basis of which you have to select the structure uh, the uh, factors to be considered while selecting a greenhouse covering material is naturally the light, transmittance, uh, the weight, durability to outdoor weathering and thermal stability over wide range of temperatures. So, you know, the poly sheet which generally we recommend is a 3A sheet which is called uh, anti-drip, anti-UV and anti uh, you know dust but at the same time uh, we if we go more precise uh, there is a different type of colored nets also available colored sheets also available like pink colored sheets red color sheets yellow color sheets uh, and green color sheets and depending on the requirement on the specific crops we can change the sheet color and we can choose a color accordingly for example uh, if you are planning to grow rows in uh, uh, greenhouses then it is always recommended that you should uh, uh, use the yellow colored poly sheets for that and that is good for greenhouses uh, for, for, for roses and at the same time what happens sometimes uh, when we go for certain uh, sulfur sprays uh, for rose and so it may stain the normal sheets so when it is a yellow color sheet so this is always good and the light uh, intensity which is coming inside it is uh, filtered through yellow sheet and uh, that is uh, beneficial for rose cultivation now similarly if you are growing for some citrus or some lemon shade, lemon crops so in that case uh, you can uh, it is recommended that you should use the red net or red poly sheet and that way that helps in you know better production from the uh, uh, citrus plants and likewise so this is something you know uh, very specifically if you want to choose and take the policies uh, the ideal greenhouse selective covering material should have the following properties so these are very the important properties it should transmit the visible light portion of the solar radiation which is utilized by the plant for photosynthesis so we know that there is a 400 to 600 nanometer wavelength lights which is we say the visible zone it should be uh, easily pass on it should absorb the small amount of UV in the radiation and convert a portion of it to fluorescence into visible light useful for plants it should reflect and absorb IR radiation which are not useful to plants so that it is on the it can absorb both on the both direct sides and the, oh, um, oh, below the UV and below the uh, visible zone and above the visible zone right from the bibgyore uh, so both side it can observe it should absorb and uh, so that it may not cause any harms to the uh, the, the poly house, to the growing crops inside the poly house and uh, it's the cost factor is also important so it is uh, earlier there is a uh, these sheets were imported from uh, countries like Israel and uh, they have a pioneer in this uh, like uh, companies like Geneger and many other companies they are uh, you know supplying these th these uh, sheets to the country but now there are send many companies in the uh, in the uh, country itself who are making these sheets and these sheets are available in a good quality in the country also so then this is the cost is also less comparatively uh, so you can uh, go for that uh, depending on your requirement and uh, normally uh, the usable life is uh, should be 10 to 20 years but this is the structure called, uh, life uh, the sheet life is on normally three years and uh, uh, if we have a less uh, uh, temperature fluctuations and uh, uh, not uh, the sheet is not exposed to may, uh, weather vagaries to a great extent then the sheets may be successfully used up to five years but uh, beyond that it has to be changed uh, now the regard something about the material of of greenhouses so generally the lifespan is like if you are using the glass 
or acrylic sheets so lifespan is around 20 years going for polycarbonate fiber reinforced polyester sheets then it is around 5 to 12 years for polyethylene it is 2 to 6 months and for polyethylene polyethylene stabilized with uv which we are generally recommended so it is normally 2 to 3 or maybe 5 years uh, the structure is normally made of uh, GI uh, aluminium galvanized iron which has been coated by you know zinc so that there is no rusting in that and there is aluminium steel is can also be used and uh, uh, sometimes we also go for wood uh, as uh, there is a that will help in low production, low cost of uh, framework, and as such, the poly house can be erected in a low cost. So this is also uh, there. So depending on the requirement like this, the wood can also be used. So this was about the poly house construction material, cladding material, and site and orientation about the greenhouses. So I hope it is useful for you. So thank you very much, students. This is a farmer which is he is growing gerbera uh, inside the greenhouses. So uh, this is something like this. So thank you, students.